Hey, Belovities, thanks for watching. So I have a huge yard sale haul and I didn't take my phone. I did take my phone, but I didn't record because I was just hitting the garage sales like crazy. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. Um, I know I've got some really, really good bolos. Um, I'm not gonna do the educational thing like at the end where I look up comps and stuff because it's just gonna be too long if I do that. I'm basically just gonna show you what I got and tell you what I paid for it. Okay, this box is full. And I do mean full of Legos. So, um, my question, I need you guys' help. I think there's 16 different boxes. This is the only one that's not in a box and it looks like maybe it's a house or something, but I'm just, I almost didn't buy them because I don't know what to do. <laughs> so for example, this one is amazing. It's, um, this one is the, the Friends Summer Writing Camp. And it's been taped back together. So I don't want to count the pieces. I don't want to put the thing together. How do I sell this? What would you guys do? Please comment below. So I've got Writing Camp. Which there's, it was either the Writing Camp or this one. I think it was the writing camp. Some of them can go for $100 pre-owned, but they're complete. And I don't know that I want to put it together. There's this one, which is also one of the bigger ones. It's the Heart Lake Shopping Mall. But um, let's see. Does it say how many pieces? 1,120 pieces. Like, seriously. Um, I mean... Like the car is like kind of put together. I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of already put together actually in here. So maybe it wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. Might give me something, something to do with all my extra time. You guys know how much extra time I have. Like this little piece is already together. So maybe I just need to look at them. I haven't really looked at them. Um, well, that's interesting. Let's see what else we got in here. I've got this set, which is in this box. And it looks like, um, I don't know what it is, 402 pieces. And it's in Ziploc bags. I don't know. Um, and then I've got some smaller sets. They're all the Friends, I think. This is the Heart Lake Juice Bar. Um, this one is a uh pop star dressing room everything looks like really well taken care of you know like they probably kept the pieces all together but i can't say for sure and i can't comfortably sell it saying that unless i know for sure like this one that looks like it might be an airplane yeah and then there's another bag in here which I'm guessing is maybe the pieces to the other part. So it, it might not be too bad. I don't know. You guys comment below and let me know what you think. Um, should I sell them just all together? One bulk buy to one person. But shipping would probably be pretty expensive because it's a pretty big box. Um, I've got the Jungle Falls Rescue. And I don't know. This is like 2014, so not super old. This is the summer caravan and then i'll just show you guys what i have here um stephanie's beach house uh heart lake city pool and i saw this garage sale on um i think it was the garage sale app and i saw this box of legos i gotta tell you i was there at nine o'clock um so this is in the bag again. So that makes me feel like a little more confident, like, hey, it might all be there. Um, so I was there at nine o'clock and I'm like, what do you want for the Legos? Of course, nothing was priced. And uh, he said a hundred bucks. And you guys are probably like, that's great. 
I was like $100. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sell this. How am I going to figure it out? This is just a small one. It's a pop star recording studio. But again, it's kind of already put together. So I don't know. This might be easier than I expected. Maybe I'll just put, I don't know if they're complete. This is the Elves series, and this is um, Spa Secret, Nadia's Spa Secret. So that one's kind of cute, but that one's not Friends. Um, this is the Friends um, Pop Star Show Stage. This is the Jungle Rescue Base, and I did only look up the two bigger ones because I was just kind of curious. So this one's pretty big. I didn't look it up yet. This one's pretty big also. It's the um, Adventure Camp. And it's got 726 pieces. So anyway, he said 100. And this also, I'm not sure what's going on here with these extra little things. I know that I can sell these. But they must have had other sets that they didn't have out or that they sold separately. This might be that house that's in that Ziploc bag or you know maybe somebody bought some of them maybe they got there early before I got there who knows but anyway those are my Lego sets so I paid $80 for all of them which I think is a great deal but again I didn't want to be at a hundred because um, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it and I don't know how long I'm gonna just sit on the money that I have in these while I try and figure it out so I do stuff like this. I'm like, I want it, but I don't know how, I don't know what to do because I'm not, I, I don't want to put puzzles together. I don't want to count pieces. You know, that's why I stay away from open puzzles, but I know that the Legos can um, definitely are a bolo. I mean, some of these pre-owned complete sell for a hundred dollars, but how much time am I going to have to invest in it? So I picked up these adorable shoes at the same sale. They're Tom's. They say size nine, nine, and I paid five dollars for them. But they're Tom's. They're brand new with the tags. I wear an eight and a half, and they fit me snug. I wear eight half, eight and a half, nine, but they are a tight fitting shoe. So I think they run a little bit small, and that's probably why they were new with tags there. But five bucks, I can resell them, and I'll just disclose that um, they fit a little snug. I mean, they fit me. They're just kind of like, maybe I just need to break them in. You know how Toms are kind of like that? The next item. I got all of these um, Victoria's Secret pink dolls. Now, I will tell you that sometimes these are a bolo. I'm guessing the ones I got are probably going to be a bunch of bread and butter, but that's okay. I got, I don't even know how many dogs. I worked out a deal with them. I negotiated the price and bought some other stuff. I can't remember what I paid. Um, gosh, I wish I could remember. But this one like says happy and pink. I might lot some of them together. I haven't quite decided. Certain ones can be a major bolo. This one's really cute. It's like a little Christmas scarf. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how these do. I had like probably 50 cents in each one. They wanted $2 each and I was like, no way. I'm way too cheap for $2 each. But I was able to bundle them down to a price I was comfortable with. I think I paid 20 for all of them. And I wanna say there's like 22 to 24, I can't remember. But um, so maybe I paid 75 cents each. But I can definitely make money. Okay, so I went to um, another garage sale and I found this guy. And he says, um, he's vintage. Oh, I might have to, I think I have my loop. I can't remember what he says, but, um, oh, Lone Star Bear. And he's got his tag and the tag says Oz. The tag is, tag is a little bit gross but it says cassette tape. So I think he has a cassette tape that goes with him. He's like in excellent condition, but the tag is kind of yucky. So I don't know, I get weirded out by yucky stuff. And little Pink Panther, new with the tags. Here he is, hello. Um, he's from 1980, there he is. 
So I got him, and this was all the same garage sale. And I got uh, this guy, and he's a little, he's a little dirty. He's got like some ugh, right there, so I have to, I, I'll probably have to spot clean him or just sell it as is. It still has this little thing on it, like the tag was attached, but no tag. I did look up comps on these. It wasn't super fantastic. I was hoping it was going to be really good because sometimes the dragons can be really good. But I only paid a dollar for him, and I paid a dollar for each of those items also. So I've got three bucks and these three plush, and they are all vintage, and I think that they will do really good. So um, I, don't, I don't think any of them are going to be like mind-blowing, like crazy bolos, but I think that they're going to be good. So those are the plush that I got from that garage sale. At that same sale, where's the bag? I got these, and I don't know about these yet. Um, they might be really good. Uh, they're like these little ornaments, and I think they're, I think they're vintage. I think they're really, really neat. Um, let me see here. Well, there's an angel. I don't know what. They're all like on, they're all stuck together, but it's a whole bag. That one looks like an ice cream cone. I don't know, I just thought they were interesting. Um, like here's a cute little, uh, gosh, they're all stuck together, I'm so sorry. Uh, like these are little, a horse, two horse, two horses, two, ho <laughs> plural. Um, this little thing is like, wouldn't that be cute for like a baby shower or something? Like if you had like a tree, like baby shower ornaments. There's some really cute ones in there. I have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> so anyway, there's a whole bag. I don't know what that is. A whole bag of them. Oh, look, like, look, these are like little um, mittens. Really, really cute. I'm guessing they're all handmade. Um, so yeah, I just, I think I paid three dollars for all of it maybe it was five i can't remember but there's some more there's a a little mouse it looks like they're really cute they're just all stuck together so gotta do my research on those it was kind of just a hunch like i think i think they might do well so i grabbed them i went to a garage sale and they had a whole box of plush and it was all free i ended up giving them some money anyway just because i felt bad but I think they just wanted it gone. Um, so the same sale that I got the plush and those ornaments, I got this hat. I looked up comps. They're pretty good. It looks um, brand new. I think it was a dollar. So that should do well. Okay, so the free plush. I got um, schnooks maybe? I don't know. Anything that looks like it could be like part of a TV show or like trendy because I don't know too much about some of these things. I just went ahead and grabbed them. I'm trying to learn more. Like this one is like a little bird. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this, is this an angry bird? Yeah, here's an angry bird. Um, some Hello Kitties. Uh, uh, Hello Kitty. I, again, this is, I, this thing is called a peak mew pop or something, but it turns into something else and it smells good. <laughs> I'm like, that kind of smells good. Um, let's eat. I don't know what this is. It has on a princess necklace, which doesn't go with it. Um, San she never heard of it. Oh, five nights at Freddy at Freddy five nights at Freddy. You know what? I've seen these do well. So I don't know if this is one that goes well, but I know that uh, Five Nights at Freddy does well. So this might be good. I have to look him up. Like I said, I was just grabbing anything that was kind of cute. I don't know. She looked interesting to me. Her hair goes back over her head and she, it's like a hat, I think. Turns into a hat. How cute is that? <laughs> so I thought she was kind of fun. So I grabbed her. Um, I don't know if you guys know what she is. Let me know. I don't see 
I'm not seeing a tag, so I'll have to research that one a little more. I thought I saw a tag when I got it, but maybe not. So I'll look into her more. Um, I did pick up these little guys. These are more of those peak me pops, but they're like little ornaments. These smell too, but I figured, I don't know, like maybe they'd go on your finger. There's like a, hello. Uh, I don't know, but they're kind of cute. So I figured there were a few of them. I can sell them as a lot. Stuff like that does really well on Mercari. Uh, the sale where I got the plush, the hat, and those ornament things, I also picked up these vintage um, bow ties. And I, I think I paid two or three bucks for these, but they're really, really old, and they're really, really interesting. So, um, and they're marked, I can't remember what they say. Uh, they say something. So I'll be able to look them up. I don't know if they're going to be a bolo or, I mean, they're not in great condition. Um, but they're definitely vintage. I, I mean, maybe you could get them dry clean. This one kind of reminds me of like a Halloween. It's got the orange and black. So we'll see. I don't know. I, I figured it was a gamble and it'd be a way for me to, to learn something new and maybe help teach you guys whether or not it's good. So then you will either not make the mistake or you'll buy it because you know it's good. I don't know. That's why we do this, right? To learn. This cat, um, you push this button and it does something. It's like a neck pillow. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have got it because now I have to put batteries in it. But that's okay. It was free. Um, another one of these things. So I'll probably sell this one with that other one. Uh, this guy is a ball pet from 2014. He's a ball, and then he flips up into, he really wants to stay in that ball position. I don't know what that is. I don't know, maybe it's broke, but I'll have to look into that. It could be broken. Uh, another Hello Kitty. I'll probably sell the Hello Kitties together, and some more of those little Things that smell like ornaments or like little ornaments and some of them fit on your finger. They definitely smell good. Must be uh, the brand. So, you know, I it was in the free box. So I was like, are you sure you don't want any money? And they're like, no, take it. And I, I just gave them a couple bucks just because that's what I had handy. And they took it. Um, but... I don't think they really cared. I think they just wanted it gone. So I'll get those listed. Most of those will probably be bread and butter. I'm hoping that Five Nights at Freddy um, will be pretty good. That would be exciting if I got a free bolo. Um, okay, so let's keep going here. I got a lot, a lot of stuff to show you guys. We're 18 minutes in. Um, okay, so I picked this these things up and I did look up prompts while I was at the sale and they're kind of all over the place but I did a bundle deal I don't even know what I paid for the bundle it was pretty good though I just bundled a bunch of stuff and they gave me one price and it was a good price but they're called um, this one's covered up uh, court car Q U A R R Y Corey kids Corey kids um, second nature designs. This is from 2001. So it's not really vintage, but it is older. Um, but this is what they look like. And there were quite a few and they had $5 on it, but I did not pay $5, but that's what you're looking at. And like I said, comps were decent on some of these. So I felt like they were worth the gamble, especially when I said, I want all of this. What's your price? And it was really good. So, you know, if you do that at garage sales and you're willing to bundle, people will come down on their prices because they want to move stuff. Okay, Corey Critters. This one's Corey Critters. And the retail price on this was $17 when it was new. And this is from 2001 also. So it's a cute little puppy dog figurine. They seem pretty, like, durable, like they're not going to just break really easy. But they're really cute. So I got those and then there's this little guy. It's cute. 
So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Sell them together, sell them separate. I'm thinking separate just to keep the weight down. Um, there's this little girl. She's cute. She's a Corey Kids. Corey, Corey, I'm probably saying that totally wrong. And look at this little turtle. My gosh. Uh, is it Jerry? <laughs> is it Jerry? Oh my gosh, no way. I found a Jerry. <laughs> that is so funny. I have mixed feelings about Jerry. <laughs> If you guys watch Donatella Bodolino and tease auctions, auctions for you, you guys will know who Jerry is. Or because she said, you can check her out also if you guys want to know who Jerry the turtle is. Okay, so I picked this up at a garage sale. And it's a, um, I think some sort of like oil, um, she said she got it at Disney. But I think you put like oil or something on it. But it was only a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'm, I've got to look it up. I have no, it says oil burning right here. I don't know, but it's got Mickey Mouse. So I figured if it came from Disney and it has Mickey Mouse, it's got to be worth something, right? And a dollar, I'm like, sold. Okay, so I went to, uh, uh, that was the same sale. Uh, she threw in this as part of the deal. Like she gave me a price and then she threw in this costume, which it is an, I think it's an adult costume. Yeah. Adult costume. It's Minnie Mouse. So I would say that I should be able to do pretty well with that. You know, I don't know what it, it retails for $49.99. So it's a nice one. Sweet. Even better. I didn't see that. Okay. My pile is getting huge. So I went to another sale and they had these Long and Burger keychains. They look like this. It's just, I believe it's leather. Looks like it's leather. I think it's leather. Looks like leather. It smells kind of like leather. It's hard to, I'm trying to get it to focus. It's not focusing. There you go. You can kind of see it. Okay. So it's just a keychain. They come in these little boxes. Of course they wrote on all the, all the boxes. Thankfully, they didn't write on all of them, just like the top one. But this obviously says 25 cents, so I won't be able to sell this one with a case. But I bought like 10 of them. They were 25 cents each. I'm going to throw these on Poshmark. I'm going to list them cheap and hope that it's kind of like an item that will bring people into my store. So I got a whole bunch of those. I think I even have more. Yeah. So I also got, uh, this is called the Sweetest Heart Candle Plate. And I try to pick up Longenberger Pottery when I see it because I do pretty good with it. It sells pretty quick. These are brand new. Um, it's just a candle plate. And it comes with this string or ribbon. So I don't know if you would hang them, like when you're not using them, like as a decoration or what. But I left the one behind that had the writing on it, and I grabbed the ones that um, were still new in the box because they are legit new in the box. I don't, I haven't looked up comps. Here's more keychains. I mean, a quarter each. I figured I can, uh, I can probably make some money on those. These are um, pewter napkin rings. They're long and burger also, and I. I'll have to look these up, but just to give you guys an idea of what they look like, they're pretty. They've got, you know, they kind of have that fall look to them. So um, there's four in each set. They come in a nice little gift box. And I think these will do well on Mercari or Poshmark or even eBay. They're from 2001, so it's discontinued, and they come in the little box that I can't get shut right now. So... I think I got four of those and I want to say, I think I paid less than a buck for those. And then this is a little longer burger, um, Victrinox Swiss army knife, um, comes in the case and it says longer burger. So it's probably like a multifunction tool type knife. So 
So I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I think it was like 50 cents or something. Okay, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> so the Legos, $80, and they threw in this bag free. Are you ready? This is the biggest bag I have ever seen in my life. Seriously. The biggest backpack. I'm like, what is that? And he's like, you know what? I'll throw that in if you buy the Legos for 80. I'm like, okay, I can sell that backpack. That's what I thought in my head. I didn't tell him that. Okay, are you guys ready? It's kind of cool. I was like, I could put all the Legos in this. Look at this backpack. You guys, I'm not kidding. Like, it's a backpack that is like ginormous. Can you see it? I just don't feel like I'm doing it justice. It's massive and it says extra large, but it has a pocket up here. It unzips and it's kind of like a tote. I think I can sell this, but I am not having any luck finding comps. Just to give you an idea, if I were to put it on my front side, like here, let me, let me put it on my back. <laughs> what do you guys think? Backpack, backpack. I mean, it's, it's literally down past my knees. So I think that right there is probably going to be a bolo. It's huge. It's huge. It's pretty cool. It's in really good shape too. Okay, so I got this guy. He was a part of the, the figures, these little guys, the bundle deal that I did at that sale. So um, he's a Jimmy product and looks like 1992. So this is from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, what, whatever that thing's name is. So I think that this will do well. Um... Rudolph. I have not tested him. Again, this was a part of, he's not in very good condition, but we'll see. A part of the table that was all priced for one price. I did test this and it did work. I took the batteries out and I will uh, test it again. But these are Jimmy, G-E-M-M-Y, and I love selling that brand. But they're stockings, and this plays Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and his nose lights up, and it's super cute. And I have sold stockings like this before, and I definitely bolo for them. And then we've got Santa, and he does, I forget if he sings, or I think his mouth moves. So these are really cool. And then we've got this little guy. I don't think he does anything. He's just like a little... Um, his feet move and stuff. Um, from 2000. So, kind of vintage. I think he'll do pretty... Oh, his mouth opens. I went like that and his mouth opened. I don't think he does anything. Huh. I don't feel any buttons or anything. I don't know. So... This one does something too. I took the batteries out. I think it sings. And I know those will sell, so I'm pretty excited about those. This is really cute. It's a little Rudolph. Um, 2002. And it has a battery spot, so I'm not sure if what it does. It might sing or something. So I'll have to look that up. But it's cute. It's little head moves. I like selling Christmas stuff. This little guy? I don't know. I didn't check for batteries on him, so I'll have to check him out, but I'm guessing he does something. Uh, uh, this guy has a zip tie on him. I have no idea why. Uh, this is from 2003, so it's just a little more of that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer show movie. And I'm guessing, is this from that show too? Because this is very similar to the, the Rudolph. Like the material, it's kind of flopped. So I don't know if it does anything or not. The wings kind of move. 
but he's super cool. I don't see anywhere for a battery. Like Rudolph, I saw a spot for a battery. So maybe he just like moves, but he's cute. Isn't he cute? So he might be really a good item also. And this came from the, the house with the long and burger items. I got this for a buck, but again, they wrote a dollar on the tag. Uh, it's Vera Bradley. It's just a little um, pocketbook, change holder, change purse, which I'll throw that on Poshmark and Mercari. I'll probably, I'll cross post it to all of them. Um, I know sometimes the pennant flags do decent. I got all of these for $2. They're just mini flags. I don't know if there's any value here. Um, they say 2004, so they're kind of older. They're not super old, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I'll look them up. I'll probably sell them all together, but Seattle Mariners, I don't know. Is that baseball? Detroit Tigers. I think that's baseball. So yeah. Ryko, R-I-C-O, Inc. Tag Express. So some of them are 2005. So what do you guys, what are your thoughts on these? List them together, sell them separate. And I got this as a part of the, um, the lot of the snowman stuff. And it says Sam the snowman sculptured figure. I did not check it. Could be like all busted to pieces. I don't know, I'm not gonna do it right now. But it's, um, it's Ensco, it's the brand, and it looks like it's from, I'm trying to find a date, 1992? Yeah, so it's older. It might be a collectible, so I'm gonna look that up. It was originally $11.99, so back in the day it wasn't like a big money thing, but we shall see. So I went to another garage sale, and you guys know I'm trying to get away from clothes, but I just couldn't help it. Sealed in the bag, Victoria's Secret. It's a string bikini bottom. This one is another one. It's Victoria's Secret. Um, and, you know, it's got the tag on it. It's got the sanitary liner, and it's just a white string bikini. I feel like I can sell that, so I went ahead and got it. And then... I can put this top with it. Now this may not be new, but it's, I mean, it looks to be hardly worn and it's a top. So like if it was a bottom, I'd be like, no way, but it's a top. So, um, a brand new, uh, Calvin Klein bra strapless. I can definitely sell that. It's a, uh, see a 36 B so definitely can sell that and I got some more clothes all the clothes were a dollar each and I ended up bundling it together and then they took some off the top when I checked out this is really cute I'm not gonna pass up a cute swim cover-up it's Ralph Lauren um, yeah Ralph Lauren it's a size small so I'll put that I'll put that on all the platforms. It's really cute. It's got the little horse right here. So it's hard for me to pass up something like that for a dollar because I know it'll sell. It's adorable. Um, this little kid's Ralph Lauren coat. I did pay $3 for this because I know I can sell this on Poshmark. And I'll show it to you guys here. Let me get it zipped so you have a better view. But it's really, really cute like a little jacket so three bucks and then I got these are um, American Eagle they're size 12 so whenever I can get um, American Eagle is typically a bread and butter item but I will say if you can get them in the bigger sizes like 12 14 16 20 they have a tendency to sell for a little more because they're a little harder to find, especially in American Eagle. Uh, these are a big star. And if you guys watch Flippin' Hippos, you know she loves her big star. Um, I got these for a buck 
And I do think they're probably like an older style that might be sought after. Again, I do not want to list clothes. I hate it. I hate it. I ha actually hate it. I used to love it. And now I just am like, I don't want to do clothes. So here's another pair of them. Um, these are called Ava and Viv. These are an 18W, so they're a plus size. So I did pick those up. Um, the waistband does look a little bit stretched out. But um, besides that, I think they're okay. So, and it could just be like uh, wrinkled because I did throw these in the washing machine. Um, so here's an American Eagle, and this is a size 20, I do believe. So these will do really good. I'll be able to sell these. Yep, they're a size 20. Anytime I can find American Eagle or in plus size 20, I definitely buy it. So $1 for those. Seven for all mankind. They do have the A on the pocket. $1. I just couldn't pass them up. Um, here's another American Eagle. I think these are a size 20 also. And I've got another big star. $1. And those are a size. I think they're... They're not um, a plus size, but they're a 31 long. So um, 31 is not like teeny tiny. It's not a size two. And these are a 29 long and they're a big star also. So I gave in and bought clothes. I can't help it, you guys, when they're a dollar and they're like things that I know I can sell. It's hard to pass it up even if it's going to sit forever because I'm not going to list it because I'm going to be focused on this fun stuff, the hard goods. So that is my haul. I'm sorry I didn't take my camera into the garage sales, but sometimes I just want to get to it and I want to go to the garage sales and I don't want to record because it is hard to shop holding a phone. Um, and I don't have a GoPro. I don't know how I feel about a GoPro. I was watching the nurse flipper and she was using a GoPro and I'm like, can people tell that you're recording? And she sent me a picture and it's like on the backpack, like it's a camera, like boom, in your face. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'll be able to negotiate as well if people know I'm recording. It just makes me really uncomfortable. And I don't like to record people. Like um, if I was at a garage sale and somebody recorded me and put it on their YouTube channel, I don't know how I would, I wouldn't like that. Like, I feel like I just, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but how do you feel about that? Would you guys want to be on somebody's YouTube channel shopping at a garage sale? I don't know. I just wouldn't. Um, so you might see some feet in my videos, but overall I try to uh, keep people out of my videos. And that's just a personal preference, like to each their own. But um, I don't want to be in somebody's YouTube video. <laughs> anyway, as I'm doing a YouTube video. But I have control over this. I think that's the thing. Like I have no control if somebody else is recording. Like I have control over this recording, you know, like I know what's being, what I'm saying. And if I don't like it, I have the option to not share this and just delete it. <laughs> but usually I just unedit and just share them as they are and leave my bloopers. But you know, anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this haul. Let me know what you think about these Legos. Oh, I'm a little nervous about the Legos. I got to tell you. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'm just trying to think, was there anything else I wanted to ask you guys? I think the Legos is the big question. Oh, and this backpack. If anybody can find a comp on the backpack, let me know, like link it below because I cannot find an extra large duffel bag backpack style backpack. And I looked and I, I didn't Google search it. And I was like going to stop the video, but I'm just talking, I'm rambling. So if you made it this far, comment, I made it to your rambling. I made it to the end of the video. And thanks for being here. I hope you guys see these items in a what sold video soon. But when I'll get them listed, they'll probably sit in my garage for a while because that's what I do. I love to shop. It's like garage sales are starting. Like I want to go shop. I don't want to spend all day listing. I'm sure you guys can relate if you're resellers and love the hunt. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.